Oh, <gasps> there we go. Let's go. The first diamonds of the world. Welcome back, everyone, to my survival Minecraft Let's Play series. In today's episode, we're going to be working on getting some diamonds so we can have diamond tools and diamond armor. And then we're also going to expand my house and build sort of a jungle village. So if you're excited for today's video, make sure you leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I did a little bit of mining off camera. I did, I got some iron armor and I got some extra iron tools, but I'm gonna go to a ravine I saw when I was gathering some materials. Okay, so I've arrived at the ravine. This is the one I found in last episode when I was trying to get some materials for the house. And I've decided we will return because if you can see down there, there's an abandoned mine shaft, which is exposed. So that's really good. So, I say we just drop down in this water. Alright. So, we're pretty close. I don't see anything too valuable yet. I mean, there's iron and stuff, but... Nothing of... Super high value. We're looking for those diamonds right now. Do we see anything down here? Got a creeper. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. We got some redstone down there, but... And some gold, but not not too interested in that. We can we can always get more of that in other places. So let's explore this abandoned mine shaft. Oh, and I forgot torches. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find some coal. Oh, geez, there's a skeleton. Um, let's see how do I block this up. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not trying to die to a skeleton. There we go. Oh, I can get some cobwebs. Just saw another skeleton. Oh, jeez, he's, he's looking at me. There we go. Can't shoot me now. Alright, we'll get some of this iron. Now, let's fight this skeleton. Yeah, you can't shoot me, bud. There we go. Easy way to take out a skeleton. Just hit his feet. Alright, we need to find some coal so I can make some torches. And then we could take that one. Got a little more iron. Oh, there's some... There's some coal. Oh, that that's bad. What? Oh, that's a regular spider. I thought it was a cave spider spawn. I was, I was like, no, thank you. I thought there was one of those over here. I was like, I'm not trying to die right now. Okay, so I've explored most of the parts of this abandoned mine shaft, and there's really nothing around here because if you can see, right there, we're at like Y level 30, so not too good. I didn't light up this area because this is the way we came from, I believe, right over here. Yep. And so I think we need to go to a lower Y level. That way we can find some diamonds. I've started a strip mine at Y level 11, as you can see right here. So let's try and find some diamonds. There we go. Let's go. The first diamonds of the world. All right. Let's mine around these. Just, you know, that's how that's that that's how that's how you're meant to do it, right? You got to mine around all the diamonds. All right. There we go. I think we found a 5 diamond vein, which is awesome. Man, first diamonds of the world are always the best, you know. Wait. Oh my goodness, we're almost gonna run out of this first the second iron pickaxe. Jeez. Oh, we got six. Let's go. And gotta craft a new pick. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's mine them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six diamonds. That's always good to see. First diamonds of the world are always the best. Dang, that was a good find. 
I heard some lava over here previously, and I thought maybe we'd find some over here, but just had to keep mining straight forward down the strip mine, and it looked like it worked out. So let's continue down the strip mine. Anything around here? Heard some more lava, so I decided to mine near it, but not seeing anything around here. But we got a nice big cave. I guess we can explore it. Ooh, first lapis. Need that for enchanting. And anything up here? Oh, another. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Do not go that way. Oh, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Oh my goodness. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I'm... Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go back into the strip mine. Back into the strip mine like nothing ever happened. There we go. We're safe. Now that I think about it, I should make a shield. Um, How do I make it? There we go. Shield made. Alright, let's get back to strip mining. That was kind of scary. Okay, so my pickaxe just broke. And now, I, I didn't find any more diamonds. So I think I'm just going to head back. Take the six diamonds. Probably make a pickaxe. And maybe, maybe an enchanting table. Mm, or maybe an axe. One of the two. Enchanting table or axe. But I'm definitely making a pickaxe first. And I think we should probably start work on the base because I can always do more mining off cam. It's really not that exciting. Uh, you gotta do it in every single world, so yeah. But anyways, how are we gonna get, how are we gonna get out of here? Don't really have, I mean, there's a water source there. I think we might have to just pillar up. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. All right, let's do this. Oh shoot. Okay, 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 okay. I just set myself on fire. Okay, now we're out of the ravine, so we can head back to the base, and we can sort all the goodies we got from there. Okay, real quick pit stop. I just found a dog, and I have three bones, so let's see if we can get a pet dog. Oh, <gasps> let's go! It only took two bones. There we go. Come on, pup. Okay, for this recently tamed dog we just got, I would like for you guys to leave a comment down below on what we should name him. And I'll pick my favorite one and we'll go from there. But anyways, let's get back to the base. All right, so these are all the goodies we have right now in our valuables chest. We got six diamonds, three emeralds I picked up from the village, got 12 pieces of gold, 20 iron, 50 lapis, about two stacks of redstone, and a few bits of coal. I put some in the fern eye, so we have that. And now it's time to start work on expanding our base. So first thing I want to do is I want to make this starting area look a lot nicer because right now it's just a bunch of floating planks, as you can see, you know, and then just a floating staircase. So I want to spruce this up. I want to make this like a bridge here, like right here over to this little island. And then I want to make maybe like... A platform here so there's a bridge here and then a bridge that goes there and maybe a winding staircase up there and then after we complete that maybe we could work on a second building or maybe even start a tree house up there but yeah we'll go from there so we're gonna start with the bridges so let's get into a time lapse
All right, we have now finished the pathway from the village all the way to my base. So we have three small bridges that go across these tiny islands. Uh, I made this one, so I'm trying to get some grass from over there to spread over here. Uh, it's going to take a while. That That's a lot of blocks. It's like 20 or so blocks for the grass to spread. But anyways, we come along here, and then we have this sort of, I don't know, jungle temple-esque. Oh, zombie just died. It, I tried to go for a jungle theme, so I, I thought of the jungle temples that you can find naturally generated in Minecraft, and kind of decided to go with that and make the the base of the the platform that the base rests on um, made out of cobblestone, and it's all mossy and has a bunch of leaves on it. So I think that looks pretty cool. And now we're going to continue back over here and I want to start a tree house in one of these two large jungle trees. I think I'm going to start with this one and then we'll go over, we'll make a bridge to that one maybe in the next episode. But we'll start by making a tree house in this tree. So first things first, we got to clear all these leaves out. I just crafted up two shears and let's get to work. Okay, so I've cleared out some land here now, so we can start by making a pathway that comes along over here, and then we can start work on maybe a spiral staircase, and then we can build the house in that the lower canopies like there and there. Okay, so I've completed the spiral staircase up to the treehouse, and I've added this pathway. So if we come up here, this is where we have the jungle house, or the treehouse. So we have lots of vines up here. I'm going to get rid of these. Okay! I just fell from the top and almost died. I should have tried to use my water bucket, but I think that should be all the vines gone near the the treehouse part hopefully yep that's what it looks like so we can get to work on it but oh my gosh i almost died i had half a heart if i would have fallen one more block i literally would have died oh my goodness all right let's let's get to work on this so i'm gonna take you guys step by step on what i'm doing so right now this is kind of a half circle and I've, I've got all the materials that I want to use up here. So first, I'm going to put my bed in this corner. And then we're going to make a crafting table. And keep it in this corner. Place a flower pot on top. And we'll place a fern inside. There we go. Now we're going to bring up the walls. So I have a few pillars just made out of jungle logs. And next, we're going to take some glass and make some windows out of it. We'll put a window here, maybe a two wide window here. Maybe we could do something like this. Actually, get rid of this. Do like that. Add a window there. And then we'll bring up the walls. Okay. So we've brought all the walls up, except for this one, so I can get up. And now we're going to build up one more layer on all of these. So we'll place in, oh shoot. We'll place in the logs all up here, and then we'll fill it in with the slabs. Just kind of like the, the house down below. Okay, now that we've filled in the fourth layer, we're going to take these slabs, and we'll get rid of that one. We're going to go on this level, just around the outside, like so. Okay, now that we have this outline, take these blocks, place them here, and then we're going to take some leaves. Oh wait, these are the wrong types of leaves. Let me go get the other ones real quick. Okay, now that we have the right leaves, the jungle leaves, 
we're gonna fill in this section like here and then we're actually gonna place a few more on top actually no it doesn't look good that way we'll just keep it like this so it'll be a flat roof all with leaves filled in like that come down here and now we're gonna do the interior so it's not too large but it's a decent size so first I'm gonna get my cooking set up in here we got a blast furnace a furnace and a smoker uh, we got all of that then we'll place a small table in this corner and put a lantern right here and then we can make get a one by two painting right here kind of want the creeper one that one's fun there we go remove this slab on this side we're going to add another table so we'll take a stair face it like that then take a slab add a barrel right there then we could take a jungle trap door put it up there place a chest up there and down here add a flower pot right here and we'll put in an azure bluette right there so that's a little storage area we can also add a little more storage up here by placing a barrel or a chest some barrels some storage over there and then lastly we can place a barrel like this and like this so it looks like a nice table and we can add a chest on top with a lantern right here and to do some outside finishing touches we're going to add two fence posts right here place the lanterns down then we're going to add trap doors like this so it looks like a shutter we can also do the same over here and that is the jungle house complete so if we take a look down from here try an mlg here there we go it looks pretty sweet uh yeah so we got a nice spiral staircase leading up to it and then you got the jungle house itself up there i might try and add some supports down here later but otherwise i think it looks really cool let's try and look at it from another angle from over here it looks even cooler i mean you can't even see the top of the tree it just looks like it blends in it looks like it's part of the top of the tree so that's really cool but we might need to start uh you know trimming these vines there's a lot of vines around here kind of crazy and now to end the episode off we're gonna craft up a diamond pickaxe there we go first diamond pick of the world feels good we'll get some use of this in the next episode but that's gonna do it for today's episode so if you enjoyed, I'd very much appreciate it if you would like, and if you're new to my channel, it would also help if you would subscribe. I've been your host, Brendominus Rex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!